What is going on guys, Flossie here bringing you another Titanfall video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you some gameplay from the game mode Last Titan Standing. This is one of the three game modes that was available during the beta. Now I thought I had recorded this entire match, but either I simply can't find the first half or I didn't record it. I'm not sure what the case is there, so you'll only be seeing the late half of this match sadly. But basically what had happened is that me and a couple buddies finally destroyed finally decided to try out this game mode after a couple of hours of nothing but attrition and the first two rounds of this match we actually got completely destroyed I mean the enemy team absolutely murked all over our faces but out of those first two losses we kind of figured out how the game mode plays out how to play the game mode and came back to completely obliterate the enemy team we won four rounds in a row and actually ended up winning the match as a whole so Basically what this game mode is, is that it's team deathmatch without respawns with a twist. The twist being that all players automatically spawn in as your titans. So it's just titan, team deathmatch without respawns basically. Um, the goal of each team is to destroy all of the enemy team's titans. That doesn't necessarily mean kill all of the opposing players, that just means destroy their actual titan. If you are in your titan and you go into a doom state, you can still eject from that and then continue helping out your team on foot as a pilot. However, if the rest of your team's titans get destroyed, it doesn't matter how many pilots are on the ground, how many real people are still alive, that team is still going to lose that round. Now this game mode is pretty interesting, kind of a new concept I suppose, um, and it was really fun. However, it was very short-lived, at least as far as the beta goes. I think that's only because we only had access to the Atlas titan, at least unlockable. Now there were, there were burn cards available to get the ogre, and I believe the strider was also there, which is basically the heavy set tank version of a titan, and then the agile versatile titan. The atlas is just kind of your standard default, all around balanced titan, and um, one thing that I did really appreciate about the short-lived period that I played the game mode is that it does rely a lot more on teamwork. It's, it's a good bit more competitive than attrition or hardpoint. And so that I did appreciate. However, after a couple of matches, since we didn't have a whole lot of unlockables, we kind of only had two or three different setups to use with the Atlas. Everyone was generally running the same thing. It basically just became Rock'em Sock'em robots in a giant field after a couple of matches. So that's kind of sad. I hope that the game mode does get a lot more replay value once we have access to all the different chassis and unlockables. But um, yeah guys, that is it for today's video, or at least the commentary. I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you do, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, stay flossy out there. Mission accomplished.